Hello and welcome back to the channel. Valentine's Day is almost knocking on the door. So today I'm going to show you how I made this cute 15 DIY Valentine's Day cards for my preschooler and just under $5. For this project, we need to print or draw a jar, some toy bugs, some hearts, heart paper for backing, all-purpose glue and hot glue, and a scissor. I went to my local Dollar Tree and they have so many cute things for Valentine's Day. These foam hearts are super cute and they have in different sizes and types. I bought this 60 piece glitter hearts just for one dollar. Then I went to the toy section and looked for some bags. Most of them are 8 pieces for one dollar. So I needed 2 packets for 15 bags. Then went to the chocolate section. I normally don't buy food items from Dollar Tree. Uh, but then I heard um, they also sell some made in US. Uh, chocolate so and luckily found some they have nice heart shaped too so tick and tick if you want to make last minute Valentine's Day card for your kids then this one is perfect for you mom now let's start the project I googled glass ball jar and went to image then click the tool and select the size larger than 1024 by 768 this ball jar looked perfect for the project, so I set the photo. Then I cropped a white background in US letter size and inserted the image of the jar. Then I'm gonna go ahead and untick the preserved aspect ratio and make the jar bigger. I'm gonna duplicate the image and try to fit two jars in one page. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select the text and write. I will try to select something appropriate for kids so the contrast would be high and the font should be easily readable. By the way, the whole thing is done by Photoscape. Um, you can do it in Photoshop as well, but I guess I am more comfortable in Photoscape. If you want to avoid the whole hassle, then you can just draw the jars by yourself. When I'm done, I will select the best quality for printing so that the jar looks real. Now I'm going to put some glue to attach the jar with hard paper. You can do it in two ways. Either you can apply the glue on the back of the printed paper first and then attach them or you can pour the glue on the hard paper first and then attach the printed paper on top of it. In both cases, I use the foam brush to spread the glue. I 
I think the second way was the best way because you can see how smooth it looks compared to the first technique. For the first two, I attached the box and chocolates before cutting out the jars. It was a bad idea, so for the next 13, I'm gonna cut out the jars first. of the glue, the jars will bend a little. I will apply some pressure on them for a while. We are all straight now and it's time to attach everything. I forgot to mention the hard papers are two for a dollar in Dollar Tree. So this is it. All 15 cards are done in one afternoon and that too under $5. My son loves it, even my one year old. I bet your kid will like it too. Hope you really like this tutorial and if you did, as always, don't forget to hit the like and share button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then subscribe before your way out so that you don't miss any of my videos. Comment below and let me know your views and opinions about this tutorial. Hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day with your loved ones. See you in my next video. Till then, stay well and happy Valentine's Day. Bye! Ah, this is so cute! Oh, crystal roses. I'm gonna get one.